The stereotypes of, of women in anything is kind of going away. Some of the smartest and brightest engineers that I've had the pleasure of working with are women. Women shouldn't just consider themselves um, kind of the stereotypical women type jobs, a teacher or a nurse or things like that. There's, there's huge opportunities. You know, I have the good fortune of being able to run a business and run a technology portion of a business in, in a new and emerging field. Hi, I'm Tracy Albers, President and CTO at Rapid Prototype and Manufacturing. Rapid Prototype and Manufacturing, also known as RPNM, is an additive manufacturing company focused on finding manufacturing solutions for our customers. Additive manufacturing is another word to describe the whole architecture of 3D printing. So basically manufacturing items layer by layer. What's the t uh, top dimensions? Uh, about an inch square. Okay, by four inches long. So as a young okay. company, there's a lot of time spent on making sure that our processes are in place and well understood by the team. And then about maybe 30% of my day is, is spent more on the technical items. So additive manufacturing is a relatively new technology in the grand scheme of things. And so there's a lot of things that we still have to learn about how to mature the technology into a production technology. And that's our goal. So a, a large fraction of my job is spent kind of getting into the weeds on R&D programs, understanding the problems that we're trying to solve, and then laying out a pathway for how we solve those problems. My background is I have a PhD in physical chemistry and I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry and oddly enough, exercise physiology, which is not something I practice on a daily basis here. If this is a field that's interesting to people, and it really is because we talk about 3D printing and additive manufacturing and what it could do and how it could revolutionize the way we make things, you have to have some foundations in, in math and science. Definitely those are critical elements of any job in, in the technology or manufacturing sectors. And other than that, it's just kind of expose yourself. So we have high school students come through here all the time and they just want to learn the basics. So knowing and understanding the foundations of what it is, there's lots of information out there. And again, if you're willing to learn and, and willing to be taught, there's, there's really no, no limits.